what is a committee have you heard about the recent commonwealth games where they had a cwg committee who were the committee who were the people so a group of people who came together to make sure the process was going fine or to discuss issues that is nothing but a committee so they're extensively used to solve multifaceted problems or issues to make sure something goes on smoothly so in came in case of the commonwealth committee or working committee uh, their responsibility was nothing but to actually carry forward the the administration of the commonwealth games so committee defined is nothing but a body of persons so a group of people appointed or elected to meet on an organized basis for consideration of matters brought before it so there's an issue and it has a body of members or people either elected or appointed so sometimes it could be elected in a democratic process sometimes the institution appoints certain people who can get together discuss without the limitation of uh, their roles in the organization in order to resolve issues and that is what a committee is about another definition a group of people specifically designated to perform some administrative act so perform some administrative act it functions only as a group and requires free interchange that's what i said you you need to have uh, you know communication barriers to be broken you need the communication barriers to be broken and that can be achieved only by creating an atmosphere where people are not limited by their formal roles so some of the things that you would have to look at is the characteristics why they are in place how they're going to deal with things is it a problem solving committee or what are they going to do uh, what is the limit of their work what exactly is their role or how much can they go in terms of uh, what they're doing so the commonwealth games was more limited about the games uh, conducting of the games rather than other functions so that's what you mean by scope deliberation as well and authority so you know who has authority and uh, they may uh, you can also uh, find out if the committee committee's final verdict or committee's decision would be the final authority depending on the type of committee what are types standing which are permanent the members may change but the committee as such remains the same so you may have committees for uh, grievances within an organization which remain the same which do not change they are standing or you have the ad hoc is nothing but just for the time being you have a certain issue you have something that has come up recently you have a committee which is just there for that particular issue so for example if if you had a uh, an issue regarding the work times so you have a committee which works on finding out what is the suitable work times what is the uh, you know uh, what are the hours in which people are having problems in working and things like that a specific issue you have ad hoc decision making or other committees so some are given the power of finding or making decisions and some of the committees have decisions which are final which is the final authority so line or staff so we talked about line staff line vertical relationship staff advisory formal and informal committee so you could have formal committees based out of an organization or a place of work or you could have a committee of people who just come together for a social issue so what are the merits of committee when you have a group of people what do you get a collective decision or collective decisions are taken so it is said that when two or three people or a group of people discuss and make a decision it is highly unlikely that all of them together would make the same mistake so you're reducing the number of er errors you have communication you have encouragement to democracy so within an organization if you have a committee where you're electing your people in that case you would actually be motivated because you know you have a representative who has been formally elected by the power of election advantage of ability of members then you have easy to control and there is also decentralization of power so power is not limited to one person rather it is a group of people and hence you would find people suitable for you will find at least one person suitable within the committee uh, or somebody who could voice the opinion of a particular department or particular function demerits 
uh, what happens in discussions people spend a lot of time talking 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 there's conflict there is confusion uh, they don't reach a consensus and those are things by delay in in decision and action then there's a lack of motivation why because nobody is responsible sometimes people think as a committee we may fail it's okay then leadership there could be a leader who is being very authoritative uh, authoritative and hence you know not allowing the committee to function as a committee rather as just a one person command and then you have some useless functions as well so these are some of the disadvantages that you know committees have some of the suggestions you would say you should see or you should look for the suitability so which sort of community uh, committee would be appropriate then you have the appropriate size you don't have it too small or too big and then capacity of the chairman you see look for the suitability of subjects under the consideration as well so these are some of the factors that you would really want to see and also identify why the committee uh, is is given a given a certain role why they doing certain things and why do you have a committee so if you have clarity of purpose i'm sure the committee would be far more effective so what are the things we looked at the line organization where you have vertical command superior subordinate relationship line and staff where you have the line organization and you have the staff which is nothing but the advisory uh, command you have the functional organization based on functions divided based on functions project the combination of both the project and the functional to make it more flexible and robust committees group of people who meet regularly to decide on certain issues what are the merits demerits and also suggestions for making it better